We are not robots. I'm sure the world would run a little bit smoother if we were a little bit more robotic. You know, press a button and we lay down to sleep, press another button and we accomplish amazing exploits. But we are not robots. We were created as free will beings who are built for relationship. From the very start, you knew all that I could be. You have always known me. You created me. You comprehend my heart, formed my inward parts. Even in my darkest night, you shone your light. We were created by God who loves us and is on our side. And if God is for us, then who can be against us? We are built for relationship with God, the creator of the universe, and for relationship with others around us. When we let him into our lives, we begin to discover what we were placed on this earth to achieve, what he has created us to do and to be. We will discover gifts and talents we never thought we had that are within us to help us achieve the things he calls us to do. As I worship you, you open up my eyes to see. As I worship you, you reveal my destiny. Some of these things will surprise us as we step out in obedience to his instructions. Certain gifts and talents are only revealed on the journey as we step out. As we face challenges in our stepping out, they are revealed. We are all different. Our start in life is unique, as is our journey creating a different pathway for each and every one of us. We are not robots. A robot could probably have a lifetime of learning and information programmed in, but we as humans are lifetime learners. We should never stop learning. The other difference between a robot and us is that we have a soul. We have an outside and an inside life. We have a soul, which means we have a mind, we have a will, and we have emotions. Have you noticed? Sometimes, because of our upbringing or certain circumstances, we can get severely messed up. I don't know what you've been through, but I can feel your pain. Along with the tears of time. Now these things may not be obvious, but they need our attention. Even if you look okay on the outside, what is wrong on the inside will prevent you achieving your full potential. What is happening on the inside will determine what you think, the things that you want and how you feel. If you have been severely wounded, it will mess up your life. You won't think or feel right, and you won't want the right things. You won't reach where you are headed because you will be continually distracted by detours on the journey, chasing the wrong things, and you will inevitably come to a dead end. If your soul has been wounded through abuse, rejection, shame or guilt, and you have not dealt with it, then you are not functioning in a healthy way. The inner pain you are carrying will show up. You may not even recognize it, 
but it will show up either in your relationships, they will be difficult to maintain, or in your outer physical body. The pain you feel on the inside will manifest on the outer as symptoms in your physical body. This is your inner self crying out, help me! Never knew there was a love like yours in this world. Nobody told me but deep inside I lived in hope. That somewhere, somehow, someone could love like you. You were there all the time but I stopped you getting through. Physical pain on the outside is often a manifestation of the emotional pain still on the inside. God does not treat you like a robot, just giving instruction to achieve things. He cares about you as a whole person and his desire is that you come to wholeness with all those inward hurts being totally healed, which is often progressive, not instant. Yes, it needs our cooperation, honesty and humility and relationship with our healer, but it is imperative that we do come to wholeness on the inside and then on the outside. We are not robots and we can't operate like them. We are not robots, we are relational beings. <laughs>